Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for... Key Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chanson Pascual and this is K-Check. Remember, hindi lang ito isang test ng brain power ng ating mga contestants. Imbitado rin kayong sumagot at matuto. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahan nyo kami hanggang sa papalapit na final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Ray loves to learn from his travels. He is a videographer whose goal is to capture the beauty of his journeys through the lens of his camera. Tony is a senior civil engineering student from UPLB who likes to draw, go out, and is a slave for donuts. Si Vienna naman ay isang graduating tourism student sa UP Diliman. She can be called upon to sing or dance in times of need, but she is more comfortable behind the camera or backstage. Sophia is a freshman taking up BA Philippine Studies in UP Diliman. She likes writing poems and singing. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And making her debut on K-Check, this time as the newest member of our panel of experts, Professor Aimee Sue Martinez of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. Si Prof. Aimee kasi ay ilang beses kung naging co-host dito sa K-Check. Mamaya, itatanong natin sa kanya kung anong pakiramdam being on this side of our studio. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Ray, in math, what number must you multiply to 8 to get 24? 6. Mali. 3. Tony, how many days are there in the month of November? 30. Kate. Vienna, in music, the Beatles and One Direction were formed in what country? UK. Okay, check. Sophia, in math, what number is four times one half? Two. Okay, check. Ray, what month is four months after June? October. Okay, check. Tony, Avril Lavigne, and Justin Bieber are from what country? USA. Malay, Canada. Vienna, in math, what term refers to the answer in division? Correct answer is quotient. Sophia, what day of the week is two days before Sunday? Friday. Okay, check. Ray, in pop music, the girl groups Twice and Blackpink were formed in what country? America. Mali. Korea. Tony, in geometry, in square units, what is the area of a square having a side of eight? 64 square units. Okay, check. <laughs> Vienna. What is the fifth month of the year? Me. Okay, check. Sophia. Frank Sinatra and Lady Gaga were both born in what country? USA. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Ang saya ng round na to. Gusto ko yung mix ng pop and math questions. Correct. Oh, at gusto ko na lahat, halos lahat nasasagot ng mga contestants oh, oh. natin. Hmm. Speaking of nasasagot, no? ang pagbabalik ni Prof. Aimee, no? this time as a judge, anong pakiramdam na na-experience mo na yung both sides na ito? It's an honor and pleasure to be part of our distinguished panel. Akala ko kinakabahan ko pa rin dyan na uh, maging panel. Medyo konting kaba, syempre. Mm -hmm. May question ka ba sa mga contestants natin? I actually want to ask Tony. Tony? Apparently, Tony, I cannot see Tony. There you are. <laughs> Apparently, you love donuts. What type of donuts exactly? Uh, 
any kind of donut, but especially since I love sweets, pumili ako sa mga sweets. And uh, one of my favorites yung, um, I think, Choco Marble and Dunkin' Donuts and yung flavor na tiramisu from Jayco Donuts. <laughs> okay, thank you, Prof. Irene. Huh? It's nice that you are back here. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Review muna natin ang points ng ating mga contestants. Leading si Sofia with 30 points. Sumusunod si Naviena and Tony with 20 points each. At makakahabol sigurado si Ray with 10 points. Yes, gusto ko yung ratsyala kanina ng mga oh, contestants. Oo, mabilis mm. ang pagsagot, di ba? Yes, so, ang dami nilang alam. Mm -hmm. Pero may nasisense ako na parang may gustong magtanong from our panel of experts. Ako din, nasisense ko. Hindi, nasisense uh, mo? Historically speaking, alam natin na si Prof. Neil ang so. magtatanong uh -huh. niya. Um, okay, ang basis ko pa kung sinong pipiliin ko yung kulay ng damit. Mm -hmm. Okay, gusto ko yung kulay na pink eh. Okay, so Ray, ang tanong ko, mahilig ka sa photography, di ba? Okay, so an para sa sa'yo, ano yung uh, konsepto, idea mo ng perfect photograph? Para sa akin, ang konsepto ko ng perfect photograph is makikita mo yung surroundings and at the same time, makikita mo din yung subject na lumalabas talaga in front. Siya yung nag stand out bukod pa doon sa nag stand out na background. Meron ka na bang nakuhang uh, photo na kumakatawan doon sa konsepto mo ng perfect photograph? Meron na. Pwede mong i-share sa amin. Ah, yes. Ano I have this photo, uh, one of my uh, perfect photos is the one I took in uh, Nepal, in Kathmandu, where nakita ko mismo yung uh, shape ng Mount Everest. Although, uh, hindi siya regularly uh, makikita, depende sa, ano, depende sa panahon. So, it's one of the most, ano, one of my most uh, favorite photos. Galing, no? Sana all makakapunta ng Kathmandu at makita yung Himalayas. Okay. So maraming salamat, Ray. Thank you din po. Sana all. <laughs> We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin. What famous avenue is named after the administrative body that governed the Philippines from 1935 to 1946? Commonwealth. Which female British singer had a concert in Manila after she popularized the hits Rockabye, Friends, Vienna, and Marie? Kate What do you call the study of the positions of stars and other celestial bodies? Astronomy. Sophia? Astronomy. Tony. Kate how many, play, how many numbers are there in a standard bingo playing card? Sophia. 52. Malik. Ray. 54. Malik. Tony. 75. Malik. Twenty-four. In what country can you find the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Sukhothai, Ayutthaya, and Ray? Thailand. And Kenkrachan Forest, Thailand. Kate Which character created by Miguel de Cervantes thought that windmills were vicious giants? Sofia? Don Quixote. Kate What is the name of the small, long, narrow boat with a high prow and stern propelled with a single oar in Venice.
gondola. Getting its name from the German term for badger dog, this breed is well known for its long, low body shape. What is this popular breed of dog? Dachshund. Auckland is the largest city in which country? Ray? New Zealand. Kate In what 2003 film did Jack Black play a role of a rock guitarist turned substitute teacher? Ray? School of Rock. Kate What is the first book of the Old Testament of the Christian Bible? Sophia. Genesis. Kate what former capital of the United States is known as the City of Brotherly Love? Philadelphia. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Points recap po na tayo. Nauna sa ngayon si Ray na may 60 points. Kasunod si Sevilla na may 50 points. Vienna has 40 points and Tony has 30 points. Diba? Nakahapol, yeah, diba? So exciting laging laban pa ganun. No? Speaking of exciting, mm -hmm. hi, Ma'am Glessy. Hello. Excited ka ba sa mga nangyayaring ito? Excited na excited ako. Kasi syempre, no? Ang ganda ng mga scores at ng mga sagutan nila. Ang bilis, ano? Mm -hmm. Sino gusto mong i-excite ng isang question ngayon? Ay, na nako. I-excite -e natin itong aming major, si Sefia. Hello, Sofia. Kamusta ka? Okay naman po. Yes. Okay, meron akong isang tanong na exciting para sa'yo. So, ang tanong ko, kung ang pag-ibig ay isang pagkain, ano kaya ito para sa'yo? Uh, siguro po ano? Adobo. Yeah. <laughs> adobo po. Uh, siguro sa akin, adobo kasi... Una, mahirap siyang timplahin. Mahirap siyang timplahin, lalo na pag may suka, ma minsan maas, masyadong maasim, or kaya minsan sobra namang matami. So, pinakailangan ng tamang timpla para makuha mo yung perfectong adobo. Yes, Kitchek! Maraming do. salamat. Oh. Magaling sa talinhaga. Ang Ibang mga... talinhaga ng mga taga, malikhaing pagtutunan. Tama. Mm -hmm. okay. Salamat. Thank you, ma'am. Vienna, may tanong din kami sa'yo. Bakit uh, tourism ang napili mo namang uh, kurso sa kolehiyo? Actually, hindi ko siya pinili kasi it's my fourth choice. So, wala na akong choice. Yun ay napasukan kong course sa UPD. Mm -hmm. Fourth choice? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's my fourth choice. Okay. So, wala akong control. So, pin gini ko na. Okay. Pero talaga nag-sit out ka doon sa program for, for uh, yeah. ano, no? Yeah. Uh, throughout years. naman, parang I love na how, what we study in tourism. So, pinanindigan ko na and now I'm graduating. So, ayun, let's mm. go. <laughs> okay. Congratulations in advance. Thank Vienna. you. This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round, susunod na here on K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Nangunguna si Ray with 60 points. Sumusunod si Sofia with 50 points. Vienna, 40 points. Tony, 30 points. Nagkahabulan sila, okay. di ba? Oh, kahit sino pwede pang manalo. Oo point. naman. Yes. So we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points kung sino sa kanila ang mananalo. Wrong points this time gets a 15-point deduction. Para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! Let's begin our third round. Prof. Glessy, question number one, please. Question number one. Sa pelikula ng Pilipinas, who is known to be the father of Philippine cinema? Ang 
ang sagot ay si Jose Nepomuceno. Thank you, Prof. Glessy. Prof. Neil, question number two, please. Tanong para sa hiyografiya. Ano ang lumang pangalan ng probinsya ng Rizal? Ang sagot sa tanong na ito ay pangalan ng isang malaking bayan sa probinsya ng Rizal. Ang tamang sagot ay Morong. Bro, okay, mukhang nag-warm up ang ating mga contestants. Baka sa question ni Prof. Aimee. Question number three, please. First question for science. Who was the first to observe bacteria and protozoa using a primitive microscope? He's actually a Dutch microbiologist and the father of microbiology. He published his work in the Acta Eruditorum in 1682. The correct answer is Antoine van Leeuwenhoek. Ah, oh, pala yun. Kakakausap ko lang sa kanya kanina. Prof. Glessy, question number four, please. Okay. Okay, ma. Okay, sige. What is the name of the government institution which has been mandated to provide grants and support programs for culture and the arts? Three. National Center for the Culture and Arts. Sorry. Okay. The correct answer is National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or NCCA. Thank you, okay. Prof. Glessy. Next question, Prof. Neil, baka sakali. Kinakabahan lang yung mga contestants. Okay. Pero lalo silang kakabahan sa tanong na ito. Okay. <laughs> Dahil ang tanong ay hinggil o tungkol sa world history. Anong unang imperyong persyano na itinatag ni Cyrus the Great noong 550 B.C. So, ang imperyong ito ang nagbigay daan sa mga susunod na mga imperyong persyano tulad ng Parthian at Sasanib. Ang tamang sagot ay Achaemenid. Yun pala yun. Okay. Prof. Aimee. Pangalawang tanong para sa siyensya. Space travelers from the United States are called astronauts. From Russia, they're called cosmonauts. Where are Tychonauts from? This term was coined in May 1998 by Chen Li Yi. The correct answer is China. Pag Pinoy kayo, ano magiging pangalan? Anyway, Prof. Glessy, next question. Sa Maranao literature ito, ha? Okay. What is the term used in reference to the supernatural beings around Lanao Lake? The correct answer is Tonong. No. Okay. Prof. Neil, next question. Tingin ko kayang-kaya to ng mga contestants. No? Tanong to para sa current events. Ano ang lahing asyano ni Kamala Harris, ang kasulukuyang busy presidente ng Estados Unidos? Mahirap pa rin pala yung tanong na yun. <laughs> Siya rin ang kauna-unahang uh, busy presidente na babae sa kasaysayan ng Estados Unidos. Ang tamang sagot ay Indian. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Aimee, next question. Siyensya po ulit. How many laws are there in Kepler's planetary motion? Ang tamang sagot ay tatlo. And the first law actually states that planets move in an elliptical orbit. 
Prof. Glessy, next question please. O game na ha. Next question. What is the name of the Davao province which has Nabunturan City as its capital? Danaw ito. Ang tawag ay, ang, ang answer natin ay Davao de Oro. Prof. Neil, baka sakali. Ito naman ay tanong para sa current, um, no, tanong para sa general information. What is Asia's first airline? Philippine Airlines. Tamang sagot ay Philippine Airlines o PAL Thank you, Prof. Neil. Okay, Prof. Aimee, huling katanungan. At madaling katanungan sa sensya. Volcanoes vary in activity. Some are active, some are inactive, while some are dormant. Where in the world is the most active volcano on Earth located? Mauna Loa is still the most active volcano in the world. Ang tamang sagot ay the beautiful islands of Hawaii. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Prof. Aimee. And that's the end of our third round, the K-Check Pagalingan Round. That's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Ray, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 75 points. He will receive a power bank from TBUP. We'll see Ray again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners first spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Tony, Vienna, and Sofia for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Aimee. This is Chanson Pasqual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.